how did you how did you feel about um, taking taking Bobo to the zoo? Oh. Bill said you were very upset about it. Oh, just uh, before Christmas, the park had lights all up in the trees and and a great big uh, uh, what would you call that picture with Christ Child and and Mary Nativity and scene. Uh, the whole scene was in uh, there in the park, a big uh, big big scene. And it really looked really ornate. Then he came in the door and he said, Oh, Mother, let's take Bobo down to see, visit, see the park. And I said, Oh, yes, let's do it. And so we drove all around the park, all, all the whole, all, all around the wedding. And the, our window there in the, on the front seat was the, the car. Car window was down, and Bobo could lean out over the window and look out, and he just, just looked and looked, and and all of a sudden I thought, why he's not going to be able to do this anymore when we get into the zoo. He, he's going to be shut in one room, and uh, we're doing this to him, poor little fella. And uh, I came home now that night. I was just devastated. Well, we, we kept Bobo as long as we could possibly keep him. And then it was certainly time for him to go to the zoo uh, and uh, where he'd be cared for and it would make some sort of sense. Then all the people in the Northwest or from wherever could see him. This would be the proper way to go on. And uh, so that's exactly what I did. It wasn't a selfish thing. I could have made a lot more money, as I mentioned, yeah. selling to any number of other zoos who, when they heard that he was for sale or being sold, they offered more money. But I, I, I sold him with a bark. 